Thank you, Wigwa, and welcome to the Virtual Carbon Friendly Forestry Conference. My name is Alyssa Macy, and I'm the CEO of Washington Environmental Council, Washington Conservation Voters. I am a citizen of the Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs, Oregon. My mother's family is from the Southwest, Diné and Hopi, and my father's family is from Inchiwana, also known as the Columbia River. I was proudly raised on the Warm Springs Indian Reservation in Central Oregon. Like many of you over the course of the last few years, and especially over the last eight months of the global pandemic, I have felt tense and anxious. It is in these times that I know that I must pause, breathe, and be grateful for the places I'm still able to escape to and enjoy. I'm reminded of exploring and hiking with my father among the white firs and western junipers surrounding Mount Jefferson in Oregon's Mount Hood National Forest and through rolling hills of lupines, wildflowers, and snowberries near our home. Spending time outdoors connected me to the land and my traditions, grounding me in the past, the present, and the future. I'm speaking to you today from Seattle on the ancestral and current homelands of the Coast Salish people, including the Duwamish people and all of the tribes and bands within Suquamish, Tulalip, and the Muckleshoot Nations. Since time immemorial, Indigenous peoples have been stewards and caretakers of the land that we live and work on. I invite you to visit the website below to learn and reflect on whose homelands you are joining us from today. I ask that you carry this understanding of the land you occupy with you as you learn about and discuss management of these lands throughout the virtual conference. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Washington Environmental Council, our mission is to protect, restore, and sustain Washington's environment for all. We are a nonprofit statewide advocacy organization that convenes people and leaders who care deeply about preserving Washington's environment. For over 50 years, Washington Environmental Council has championed and defended laws and programs that make Washington a national leader in environmental protection. Our distinguished forestry program focuses on ensuring that Washington's forests are sustainably managed and continue to provide many benefits for all residents of the Evergreen State today and in the future. The webinars you attend in the next couple of days as part of this virtual event will point your compass towards innovative work that's occurring in the climate smart forestry and wood product sector and how the West Coast's working forests can be vital resources for pollution reduction and resilience in the face of the escalating climate crisis. Climate change, however, is not the only crisis we're facing this year. The COVID-19 pandemic, a national and global reckoning with race, a consequential election, catastrophic climate fires, all of these things have demanded a lot from us, whether emotional, mental, physical, or spiritual. Each of these crises have laid bare the vast inequalities built in our society and the disproportionate impacts of these on communities of color and low income communities. So as we discuss solutions for the challenges in forest and land stewardship in the next couple of days, let us orient towards environmental justice and hold close the understanding of how what we do today impacts current and future generations of Washingtonians. I want to acknowledge that frontline workers have led us through this traumatic year, including farm workers, firefighters, forestry workers, food service employees, healthcare workers, and grocery store employees. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today as you're juggling work from home, uncertainty in employment, childcare, remote schooling, and all of the other challenges before us. Thank you to our speakers and to our partners for your contributions and for navigating this new virtual platform with us. We hope you find these webinars valuable and that they provide us all with some insight into how we can move forward in this work together. 
Our collective destiny and the future of the Evergreen State and the planet relies on our ability to come together in spite of our differences, to generate creative solutions, to honor ancestral knowledge and lived experiences, to listen to our communities, and to partner with those most affected. By working together, we can ensure that West Coast forests are healthy and resilient for generations to come.